What's up, friend? Today, we are going to create your very own custom logo using a free platform called Canva, one of my favorite places to make graphics, ebooks, images, and logos. You don't have to be techie. This is, again, a free thing that you can do right alongside with me because I'm gonna flip my screen around and show you exactly how it's done. But before we go there, I just wanna say, what's up, my friend? My name is Jen Johnson, and if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. I love coming on here every single week to help you learn how to grow your faith and your business together to create more purpose in your work and impact in the world. So if this is our first time hanging out, I just wanna invite you to subscribe and hit the bell so that way you're notified and we can hang out together like this every single week. Okay, here we are back in Canva. And today I'm just going to show you a few different styles and how to really build out a logo using my turn purpose to profit as an example. And I'll just do a few different ones on this page and then I'll show you how to download it. So that way it's actually a what we call a PNG file. So that way there's no actual white background that's in the mix of the actual logo itself and it looks like an actual logo. So to get started, what I would do is simply just write out turn purpose to profit. And this is literally how I make all my logos, just so you know. We'll go ahead and eh, we'll just put this up here for now. And what I need to do is find uh, an element if I wanna have some sort of something to go with it. Maybe I just want to have something simple like this, for example. And we'll make this a little bit smaller and we will position it to go backward. From there, you can go ahead and have some fun with fonts. As I mentioned in another video, I will point you to in the cards in the description uh, on a tutorial on how to use Canva. You can actually upload your own actual fonts and that's just something you would do by going to upload a font here and going on to Google finding some free fonts that you can install. I'll be sure to include that. Now let's say I wanted to use this font here or uh, what else could we do? We could do something like that. You want something that's going to be legible but you know kind of have your actual personality as well. So I don't know, let's just say we want to do something like this. We'll do a few different ones here. And now let's say we wanted to do, or we could actually do a few different fonts. So let's say you wanted to do the turn purpose two in a different font. So we could move this over, grab a new text box, and then we could find a different font. I love using Lee Gothic as well because it's bolded and that would be easy to read and we could just kind of have some fun with the word profit. So I don't know, let's just say that that would be a logo that you would want to do. Again, you can put your own personality, have your own spin. We can make this a little bigger if we want or you don't even need to have this. It's totally up to you. You could also, you know, make sure you're using your own branded colors. I know Here's one for me. I also love using the gold so I could do something like that. You just want to remember that you're putting this logo, think about where you're putting it. If you're putting it on graphics, if you're putting it on ebooks or wherever you're going to be using it, you want to make sure that it's going to be easy to read. And you may want to actually create a few different colors depending on, you know, if you're creating a dark picture, then you would want to have a lighter uh, you know, text. So maybe that you would do one in black, one in white, and kind of do something that way. So once you get this looking how you want it to look, I'm not going to spend a ton of time because this isn't really how I would want it to look, but you get the idea. So now we have, you know, turn purpose uh, to profit here. And, you know, I actually really, this is bothering me. So we're going to just turn it all back to black so it's easy to read. Now, once we have it looking how we want it, you would actually want to center it. Like, so if you're just making one logo, I'm going to show you a few different ones, but I'll show you how you can actually download this. So once we have it where we want it in the center, um, we'll just say that that's how we want it to look. It's not the greatest right now, but uh, we would download it and we would hit transparent background. So it's a PNG transparent background and we are going to download. 
Once we download it, you can actually upload it back into Canva and it will be a PNG file. And what that looks like is if I come in here to upload an image and go down to my downloads, it will be right here. I'll click on it and you'll see the white background is gone. So now whatever image or graphic I make, let's say I wanted to you know, create my own graphic of some sort, I'll just grab this image that's sitting in my file and I wanted to actually put this logo on uh, the image somehow, I would be able to do so. And it wouldn't have any white anything. So that's the power of making it transparent. And you know, we could, here's your little logo. So this is the simplicity of actually designing and creating your own logo. You can have fun and create and actually go over to, uh, we'll go over here and explore a little bit more with some elements. So you can type in different things. I think one time I saw a cute little tree that I liked. Uh, let's say, I don't know, let's say I wanted to use a tree for my turn purpose to profit kind of a deal. So I could grab a tree and make it the size that I would want to make it. And I think I could probably change the colors. No, maybe not. So I think I did see one one time where you can actually change the colors and that made it super cute. I don't know where it's at right now, but sometimes with these little elements, you can always uh, change colors. So here it is. That's the one that we can change color on. So that way you can, again, stay on point with your brand colors and all of that fun stuff. So let's say... I mean, you got to think about this is typically going in the corner of a picture or something like that. So maybe you just want it to be, you know, kind of small. You don't want it to be too big. But the cool thing is, like, no matter what size you make it here, you can always size your actual PNG logo once it's done. So we can make it kind of a decent size. And then we'll just come over and start picking some colors that I actually use. And... Uh, go from there so okay that works and then again we will just grab you know turn purpose to and actually what I'll do is turn purpose because I want to actually make two different text boxes and what I can do is the my league gothic here and again you can do this in different colors We'll grab to profit here. And again, you can do different fonts to kind of give it some texture and play around with it there. So maybe I'll go something like this. And if you don't like that, again, you can always just play with it, change it up. Maybe I'll put the tree like planted right in the center here. And so it just has a little bit of a ring to it. This seems kind of spaced out. I can always change the spacing of uh, the letters as well if I'm like feeling it's a little too spaced out. So let's just say that this is how we would want the logo to look and again you would just go to download PNG hit transparent and be done. Then you can upload this to your phone, you can upload it to Canva and then you can drag it onto any image, any document, anything that you want to use it on um, inside of your funnels. It makes it really, really easy. So uh, I actually recently did one for a new program that I have created called Power to Profit. And I can show you what that looks like right here. So this is a really simple one that I created. Again, I just had two different fonts, used my brand colors, and I'm actually incorporating this bluish color here with this program. So I actually, I think I just went to uh, lines. If I type in lines here, I believe that it eventually came up or I might've typed in scribble. And you'll see like, yeah, right here. It was actually a dollar. So I downloaded it, changed the color. And I did this in a few different colors just to have them on, you know, on hand in case I wanted to use them. And I am able to resize and see how you can just resize to make it whatever size you want for whatever you're going to be putting it on. So this is the simplicity of creating your own logo. Definitely feel free to come over here and check out the graphics, typing in different keywords. Again, if you are 
let's say you're in the beauty industry, you can type in beauty and see what pops up if you want to use like little flowers and little fonts or you can use uh, makeup if we type in makeup we can you know this is something that could be cute if you if you don't like the cartoony look then you know you wouldn't want to like put this stuff incorporated with your logo obviously but there is sometimes some cool stuff that comes up um, as you're re you know you're researching but mainly just have your fonts like play around with the fonts with your colors and then if you want to have some sort of image inside of it you can I'll tell you I have my standard turn purpose to profit logo I did create in Canva as well um, if I change the background here you should be able to see it if I go to, we'll just make the background black. And I did a couple of different colors, but this is my white one that I did. So I literally just did, you know, two colors. And, uh, be, you know, what I wanted to do was the, the T and two is a cross because I focus on Christian entrepreneurship. So it was just kind of a way for me to add that look or that messaging into my actual logo itself. And this was just like one of the simplest, uh, simplest logos that you can create really I just I like simple I don't like it to be too over the top and you can do this kind of stuff as well with um, you know if you're doing videos on YouTube and things like that that's where I actually created I, I incorporate this when I'm doing the the editing in my videos I actually incorporate this to where it shows up on my videos so you can create stuff like that in here as well just created as a PNG the same way you would a logo by uh, downloading and hitting it transparent. So hopefully this is uh, resonating with you and I would love to actually see the graphics you're creating. So be sure to include those or share those with me. Uh, if you can tag me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you're going to be sharing those out, I would love to check it out. Wasn't that so easy? Oh, I can just get lost in Canva. Trust me, I'm warning you, you can get lost in Canva for hours. So I want to encourage you to use your time wisely, but also have fun with this because you can start making logos goes for yourself. You can make it for different things you have going on. This is where you can get your creative juices flowing and kind of see, you know, what colors you like and what images you like and what fonts do you like and really let it express who you are so people come to know it and know it well and they also tie it back to you. For more on Canva and learning how to build your graphics and batch your graphics out, you can definitely check out another video I did. It was actually just a straight up Canva tutorial and I will be sure to link that here so you can head over there right now. So until next time, my friend, God bless. I'll see you on the next video.